Want to learn the best way to play RT, or are you simply wanting to trophy push with him? Either way, this guide will show you the best ways to use RT on every game mode. Make sure to know that this video was made in 2023, and RT may have been nerfed or buffed since then. If anything big were to happen, I will remake this video so you can find the new one in the card above. But enough talk, and let's get into the guide. First, we will discuss RT's mechanics. If you already know all of this, feel free to skip ahead to the next chapter. Anyways, RT is officially classified as a damage dealer, but he also makes a good tank. His main attack is a single projectile that upon impact with the brawler will mark them. The next attack will then deal double damage, and the target will be marked again. If you do not deal damage to a marked target, the mark will disappear in 5 seconds. RT's super is pretty unique. He will split his body into two halves and basically become Jackie. He will leave his lower body behind and glide around with his top half. Unfortunately, he cannot fly over water like Eve can. When he attacks, both the lower and upper body will attack, and yes, the damage will stack. This attack will also mark targets like his main attack. When he charges his super again, he will snap back to his lower body and become whole again. He will also heal 1000 hit points. On to RT's stats, a fully maxed RT in his regular form will deal 1050 damage, and 2100 to marked targets. His range is very long, reload speed normal, movement speed normal, and he has a good projectile speed. He has 6150 hit points. As for his supers form, he remains at 6150 hit points, but other statistics change. His movement speed becomes very fast, his range short, but his reload speed remains normal. He will deal more damage though. Upon first impact, he will deal 1,860 damage and deal 3,720 damage to marked targets. This damage will stack as well if he attacks with his higher and lower body. These numbers seem to be different than the statistics screen shows during gameplay, but that may be a bug or the damage is different to objects than to brawlers. Colette is an instance of that. Next, I will show you RT's gadgets, star powers, and the best build to use in games. Most importantly, do not use his first gadget in line. It is completely useless. During the couple weeks leading up to the release of his second gadget, I could not find a single use for it and never once clicked the gadget button. There may be a rare occasion you could use it in gem grab, heist, or maybe knockout, but other than that, this gadget is useless and I highly recommend to just save your coins. As for his second gadget, Hacks, it is super useful. It basically acts as an extra attack similar to Brock Star Power Rocket Number 4. If RT marks a target, the gadget will be available to use. A fully maxed out RT deals 1050 damage upon using the first attack. On his next attack, it will deal double damage, 2100. Or, you can use the gadget, it will deal 1050 damage. It essentially acts as a first impact attack. This is great if a tanky brawler is just short of defeat and RT is out of ammo. Simply click the gadget and deal more damage. It will also work on multiple targets. Say you have three brawlers marked. If you use this gadget, it will deal damage to all three of them, but it will not charge your super. Regardless, this is definitely the gadget to go with, especially since inline is useless. As for his star powers, both are good depending on what you are playing. Maps don't really affect this decision much, but game modes do. But first, I'll tell you what the star powers do. The first one, Quick Maths, will extend the mark's time limit by three seconds, causing brawlers to remain marked for a total of eight seconds before it disappears. His second star power, Recording, only affects RT's Super's form. It will cause RT's upper and lower body to gain a 20% shield when split. This will be especially useful if you spend a lot of time in RT's Super's form. As for the best one to use, that depends on the game mode you are playing. But it's not very strict. Basically, Recording is better in every game mode except Showdown. In Showdown, solo or duo, you do not want to use RT's Super unless you have a way of charging his Super quickly and returning right back to his regular form. If not, you will have to leave his lower body behind for someone else to find. As of right now, you have no way of knowing if someone is attacking your lower body and you will instantly die. So, Quick Maths is better in Showdown causing marked targets to stay marked longer. As for other game modes, Recording is definitely the better choice to go with. You will most likely be using RT Super a lot in game modes like Heist, Bounty, and Knockout. For instance, Bell's Rock is a great map for RT. The 20% shield will make it easier to approach enemy brawlers and take them out, especially if you have the shield gear equipped, giving him an extra 600 hit points. Speaking of gears, RT does not have his own epic or mythic gear. The best gears to use in most cases are the damage and health gears. The health gear is especially useful in the scenario that you lost RT's lower body or you are low health. In most scenarios, the main priority of RT's super is to make sure your lower body is well hidden and has plenty of hit points. The health gear will help you reach full hit points faster after an assault or if RT's lower body was found, but then the brawler was disposed of before it could take you out. The other gear slot is dependent on maps and game modes. 
Usually, the damage gear can help RT finish off essentially any brawler if he is using his upper and lower body to deal damage to the same target at the same time. But the speed gear can be really useful if the map is very bush heavy. This can help you escape close range brawlers in RT's normal form, or help you catch up to enemy brawlers in RT's supers form. But, some people have gear preferences, so choose whichever combo works best for you. Now, onto the game modes, but first, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe, if you are enjoying this and finding it useful, of course. Thank you. For Solo Showdown, RT is okay in, but definitely not the best. His mark attack is extremely helpful in 1v1 situations, and I found that enemies often get scared and run away after getting marked, especially low hit point brawlers like B, Tick, or Nani. But, I've seen tanks turn around as well. Although RT's regular form is okay in Showdown, make sure you have full ammo at all times. Unless he is close to gaining a super, RT has no way of dealing with most assassins and other close range brawlers like Edgar, Shelly, Bull, Daryl, or even Jean after he pulls you towards him with his super. So, you'll want to make sure you have sufficient ammo so you could stand a chance. And about his super's form, do not use it. In nearly every circumstance, using RT super is like a death wish. Unless you know that you can gain your super back quickly, it's not worth the risk. You could be easily defeated by someone that finds your lower body, or if you've lost it, or if you can't get your super back quickly enough and you get stuck in the fog. So, RT is not a great choice for solo showdown. Now, for duo showdown. It is usually harder than solo, but maybe not in RT's case. You can simply mark a target and your teammate can help you take them out. You will essentially deal double damage upon every hit and you could easily sweep the entire map, but again, don't use his supers form. So, RT is a pretty good pick for duo showdown. Onto gem grab, RT is pretty good in all maps, but you have to adapt. For example, double swoosh. You can store RT's lower body in the bushes by spawn and simply glide around taking out enemies. There is a good amount of cover surrounding the bushes, so you can easily weave around them to avoid damage. On wide open maps, his regular form will work nicely. RT also makes a great gem snatcher as well. If you are in his supers form and have your next super charged, you can steal the gems from enemies and instantly teleport back to his lower body. But since he can be easily jumped by Edgars, he might not make such a great gem carrier. Leave that to the tanks and Mortis. As for Brawl Ball, he makes a great goal defender. Depending on the map, you can align his upper and lower bodies behind the walls and absolutely destroy anyone who tries to come close. Unfortunately, this plan is severely flawed. This will not work if the enemy team has a thrower, jumper, or wall breaker. On the slim chance that this will work though, it can pretty much guarantee that the enemy team won't score. But if the enemy team has a thrower, or the map doesn't have the wall placement, RT is still a pretty good brawl ball pick. His attack makes it difficult for enemy brawlers to advance on open maps as long as you are good at aiming. Archie's projectile speed is pretty fast, but the hitbox is very small. The mark can actually help you track slightly off-screen enemies that have been marked. RT makes a good tank for helping your teammates advance, and his super can be useful to spawn lock the enemy team on some maps and occasions. To summarize, RT is a pretty great pick for Brawl Ball, especially if you have good, supportive teammates. Speaking of support, RT is actually a great support type brawler, especially in Hot Zone. And no, both of RT's body segments cannot occupy a zone. His upper body will, but his lower body will not gather percentage. But, his mark attack can greatly help your team. That is, if you can land your shots. Most of the time, zones are placed far apart and it is difficult to hit enemies occupying other zones. But for maps with a single zone, he can keep enemies at bay. His super's form will pretty much be useless on single zone maps, but it can be useful in maps with multiple zones, especially if the zones have a lot of surrounding cover. You can sneak in and wipe out all enemies on it, just watch out for short range tanks. So RT is a pretty good brawler in hot zone. Knockout is very dependent on the map and teammates. In more open maps, RT will be better used with his regular form. In bushy maps, his super's form. His mark attack helps your entire team a lot as it reduces the amount of shots they need to land. The health gear is really good on RT as well, and it helps even more in Knockout. But, maps with a lot of walls make it more difficult for RT. But, they make his supers form better. If it wasn't for having to leave his lower body behind, his supers form would actually be a better choice on more maps than the latter. Just watch out for throwers. A good combo built around RT for Knockout is RT, Crow, and a thrower of your choice. RT can mark a target, then Crow can hit the target, dealing double damage. Use his Carrion Crow star power on top of that to add more damage to enemies under 50% health, and use his Enduring Toxins gear to deal 30% more poison damage. That will deal a lot of damage on the first hit, and the poison damage will deal a lot more. So, RT is okay in Knockout, but great if you have a Crow on your team. As for Bounty, it is essentially the same thing as Knockout, except that you obviously revive. But, this gives you a different selection of maps and can introduce some different tactics. 
For instance, in Knockout, say it's you versus one enemy. You can simply ditch RT's lower body if you know you can get the kill on your enemy, as you will automatically win after that. But in Bounty, the game will still keep going, and you will have to worry about making it back to RT's lower body. Now, Heist is actually pretty easy with RT. Most maps are divided into lanes, and RT can easily make his way up one of them and continuously snipe the enemy's safe. You are also helping your teammates quite a lot by constantly marking the safe. RT combined with a Crow and Anita would be a great combo. It's not such a great idea to use his super on most maps, but if you are low on hit points or just need a final burst of damage, you can simply attack the safe with your upper and lower body, dealing a final blow of quite a bit of damage. So, those are the best ways to use RT in every game mode. I hope you enjoyed this guide and found it useful. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. Please comment any cool RT strategies you have, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!